Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Angie. I'm Phil. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. for the Yankees with a name like Eugene Morris Jerome. You have to be a, a Joe or a Tony or Frankie. If only I was born Italian. <laughs> All the best Yankees are Italian. My mother makes spaghetti with ketchup. What chance do I have? <laughs> uh, tonight I saw Brighton Beach Memoirs by uh, Neil Simon. It's a story that takes place in Brooklyn. Brighton Beach to be exact, near Coney Island. And uh, it takes place in 1936, 37. You get the feeling from the way they're talking, it's hard to make a living in this neighborhood. And a lot of the play centers around their money struggles. They all want what's best for everybody, but money keeps getting in the way for them. Eugene, he's a narrator. Um, he comes in and out. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he lives with uh, mom, dad, uh, his, uh, his older brother. And then, of course, uh, their aunt. She also lives with them with her two children. The families are having uh, financial problems besides their own little person, personal problems. And uh, that's the story. As you get into it and you get into the characters and you get into the, uh, what's happening to them and their problems, you get more interested in, in the play. They're just trying to make uh, um, ends meet. But, um, you know, just like any uh, typical family, more than the scratch in their back pocket, it, it comes down to, uh, you know, how they relate to, to one another which is um, more, uh, more important than, say, material things. Noah Robbins is Eugene, and he was fabulous. If you don't have a great narrator, you lose interest immediately. And he had a lot of material, a lot of hard material, but he kept everyone's interest always. And what he was going through, his character's about my age, and I could, I could relate to him on that level of being a little lost in your family when you're trying to grow up yourself. And so I like that he was relatable. He knocked it out of the park. He, for a young actor, he, uh, he played a, a perfect Eugene. It's not an easy role. And uh, certainly, I, I think if uh, the playwright, if he sat down, Mr. Simon, if he sat down, he watched it, uh, he, he would do him proud. The part of the mother was played by Laurie Metcalf. Very good job. It was a Jewish family, and she had all the motions, the, the slang, the notations on the voice. I personally thought she was one of the best in the show because you really saw her struggles. I was watching her for a lot of it because she was so engaging even if something else was going on. Lori Metcalf did very well. The, the last time I saw her be that dramatic was when she had a drinking problem on Roseanne or whatever. It was a very special Roseanne. Santino Fontana played Stanley, who is Eugene's older brother. And I thought he was fantastic because this is a character that can go from a very up like laughing at his brother's stupidity and ignorance about things he thinks are common sense like girls who can go to a very low down place where he's crying because he's got himself in such a bad situation and I really got the sense of his anguish. He was another standout in the show. He was very realistic and believable in his character. He was good. I don't think you could have cast it any better as an ensemble. Uh, you know, there's definitely no uh, there's no scrubs, you know, and, and they all seem like they, they really knew their, their roles very, very well. If you were brought up in that era of the late 30s and had Jewish friends like I did, you could relate to them. Yeah, the, the mannerisms and the style, the jokes going back and forth. It's a very funny show. There's a lot of deep and kind of sad under stories going on, and there's a lot of struggling going on, but there's still a, they're still a family, and families do have humorous moments when they're trying to deal with each other. The play was tremendous, uh, brilliant. Um, the writing is, is flawless. It's, um, you know, it's, uh, Neil Simon to, uh, to Broadway is, uh, I don't know, like Jeter to New York right now. I would recommend it to my friends, yeah. I think it's a good coming-of-age story because it's centered around Eugene. We're all that age, so I think teenagers would really enjoy it. I would 100%, um, you know, tell uh, tell all my friends to go see the show. the uh, The show is brilliant, and I don't think it gets any better for for, you know, for a uh, a, a comedy drama. I, did I like the play? Yeah, I like it. I I encourage everybody. If you saw the movie or you read the book, come see this. You'll only enjoy it all the more. I'm always going to the store. When I grow up, that's all I'll be trained to do. Go to the store. You don't want to go? Never mind. I'll go. I don't do that. Don't make me feel guilty. I'll go. And get a quarter pound of butter. I bought a quarter pound this morning. Why don't you buy a half pound at a time? 
And suppose the house burned down this afternoon. <laughs> Why do I need an extra quarter pound of butter?